Well, to tell you the truth, right, I and most doormen are on the bluff of some description, and I find it actually quite hilarious. You know, if people come up or whatever, are giving you a hard time, they're actually wondering whether you're batter them or not. And in some circumstances, yeah, you're going to do it, right, in some circumstances, but 99% of the time, you're not. And remember, as I said, you're only dealing with that small minority who are thinking like that. It's maybe the five, between two and a half and five percent of people. Now, often, you know, when I think back of being on the bluff and things like that, it is quite funny. My mate, he, he, he's, he's, let's say he's an older doorman. One day we were working, this big lump, absolutely enormous lumps just got thrown out, see? So he's obviously stripped his shirt off because they all take their shirts off, don't they? So now standing at the other side of the road, and my mate's just like, just a normal sort of old man guy. And he's standing there, this big bloke's going, see you, you're effing well dead, I'm gonna kill you. Get over here, me and you are gonna have a straight now, we're gonna have a one-on-one. -on -one. So my mate's gone to him, no, I ain't gonna fight you. If I come over there, you'll beat me, so I ain't gonna walk across the road and get beaten by you. So the bloke was screaming some more, right? He goes, get over here. And he says, I've told you I'm not gonna fight you. So the bloke says, I'm gonna come over there and I'm gonna do you. And my mate goes, yeah, you'll easily do me. Look at the size of you. Anyway, the bloke's running over, right? And my mate said to me, do you know what, Dan, right? He made one mistake, he said. So as the bloke's come running over, he said, he, said, he stuck his finger, pointed his finger at me. He come right over. He said, Dan, of all the things you've ever taught me, right, you've only ever taught me a few things, but guess what? I said, what's that, Nick? He said, I just grabbed his finger, just like that, and just went like that put him down on the ground, and he was screaming as I was twisting his finger. He said, what a result. He said, and then the old Bill came over and arrested him. So, isn't it funny? On the bluff, my mate, I suppose, as he says to me, like most of them, we've been on the bluff for years. And I can remember when I was about 16, and I was walking along the road, and as I was walking along the road, right, three, three drunk Irishmen come out, come out of the pub. Right? Well, when I was 16, I had long hair. So they've gone, they go, look at that long hair over there. So they decided actually that they were going to actually do me. So it's funny, right, because being 16, one thing you are sure of, right, you are going to outrun any 30-year-old man, unless they're Linford Christie or something, but you are going to run anybody, especially if they're drunk. So i just seen this film, King Boxer. So I'm standing there, walked across, right. As I walked across, the one in the middle really wanted to do me. The other two were sort of half holding him back. As I walked across, as it got sort of... Not too near, but near enough to see what I'm doing. I've gone in this rather pathetic sort of kung fu karate stance. And considering I'd, well, I was actually 15, I hadn't even started training. I'm standing sort of at the bus stop going, oh, screaming like that with me, and in this position, which everybody who knows martial arts means don't mean anything, but they didn't. So I'm standing there, right, and I've got my foot pointing the other way, and I'm on the bluff. One of them goes to the other bloke, come on, get involved with him, he knows that karate stuff. He'll kill you. So the one in the middle goes, no, let me at him. Started pulling, and the other two were holding him with one finger, goes, no, 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 John, don't do it, John. Right, and I'm standing there going, screaming in ki 11 o'clock at night, right by the bus stop, on the bluff, right. Guess what, they bottled it. So they walked off the other way, and the sort of thing didn't want to find, I think, well, that's a result, so I just carried on standing there. But if they had come over, I'd have legged it. So there we are, another survival strategy. You can run.